Hi, Kelly. So Macy's is still selling a lot of home goods and sleepwear like it sold during the pandemic, but there's a resurgence in categories that are kind of showcasing the reopening. One of the most improved categories, luggage. Apparel also improved eight percentage points from last quarter. Dresses like special occasion for prom, mother the bride, and casual dresses improved along with dressy sandals to go with those dresses, of course. For men, tailored clothing strengthened. The department store sold more at full price and had fewer markdowns, which ultimately did help margins, though delivery expenses did increase. So I am going to bring in Macy's chairman and CEO Jeff Kinnett to talk to us a little bit more on these trends and everything else that's going on with Macy's. Jeff, thanks so much for joining us here today. Kelly sort of started us off by talking about Macy's shares. You blew it out of the water when it compared to analyst estimates for profit and for sales. Uh, increased your forecast, but you have to be careful in looking at the comparisons because of what happened during first quarter last year with the store closures. And you gave us a lot of comparisons to the first quarter of 2019. So when you look at that, comp sales are still down 10%. You think that's what's really holding down the stock? And what can you do to give us a positive comp number? So hi, Courtney. Good to see you. And uh, what I'd say to you is that our brand's got momentum. And so what I would look at is what happened you know, in the fourth quarter of 2020 and what happened in the first quarter of 2021 versus 19. And so while we were down to the first quarter of 2019, definite improvement from what our momentum was in the fourth quarter. And it's really in the categories you talked about, Courtney, it's like, you know, we definitely saw a big change with the vaccinations in those categories where customers are starting to reemerge, where they're going back, they're going to church, they're going to out to dinner, uh, they're going to the prom, and places where they're reemerging, we've got the categories that are going to be right for them. So what we saw in the momentum was that it got steadily better as we went through the quarter. We've taken that momentum into the second quarter. Um, people, you know, people love their mothers. It was a very good, strong Mother's Day for us. We expect it to be a strong Father's Day, a strong back to school, and we think it's going to be a gangbusters holiday with people getting back together with family members they may not have been with in the past 16 months. So we think it's going to be a great gift giving time frame for the balance of this year. And so you acknowledged, of course, that the stimulus checks definitely helped, uh, you know, you sell at certain times of the year. But it sounds like you're really positive going forward through the balance of the year for these different activities, even through the holiday season. What makes you really believe that the consumer's pent up demand will be longer lived than just a quarter or two? Yeah, I think when you look at the consumer right now, they're very healthy. When you look at their debt levels, when you look at their open to spend, and when you look at what we've just gone through as a nation, you know, and just being able to reemerge and getting back to kind of some level of normal activity, uh, that suits up with our categories very well. When you think about apparel, accessories, and home store, um, I just think it's going to be great buying for, for the future. And when you look at the Macy's and the Bloomingdale's brand, you know, what we don't think is going to come back is we don't think that international tourism is coming back in 2021. We think that's going to be good news that comes to us in 22 and beyond. So um, there's lots of reasons for us to kind of why we raised guidance today was because of what we saw in the consumer. Stimulus has kind of worn off, but this pandemic and, and the vaccinations, those buying patterns are just emerging. So you've got this kind of back to normal activity. This whole back to work opportunity really hasn't started yet. So we know that that's going to be buying occasions for us in the, in the, in the really the second and the third quarters of this year. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.